Hey guys, it's Sebastian from Skycomp Solutions, and today we're talking about AMD versus Intel processors. Let's get into it. So at Skycomp, we're pretty biased. When someone asks, is AMD or Intel better? We always say Intel is better, hands down. Today, I have two laptops in front of me and both of them have the exact same specs, but the only difference is one has an Intel processor and one has an AMD processor. So we're gonna put these laptops to the test today to see which one actually performs better. So there's a couple things you can do to test your processor. We're gonna do three things today. One of those things is going to be rendering a video file using the Windows Movie Maker feature. So we're gonna take the same video file, load it into both computers, and see how it processes that file and renders it out. The next thing we're gonna do is see boot time. So we're gonna shut it down and boot it and see how fast it boots. The final test we're gonna do is run a 4K video file on each of these systems, play it at the same time, and see if we have any inconsistencies or lagging video. Let's jump into things. I have a 1920 by 1080 progressive HD video file that was from a past shoot of ours at Skycomp. Um, I have it queued up here. It's a, we're exporting it, we're trimming it down to two minutes and we're using the video editing tool based in Windows. You can already see a couple of differences between the AMD and the Intel. The AMD processor has everything, all the little icons and buttons and things are red. Um, so the little slider for telling what time it is and where you are in the timeline on this little trim tool is red. Um, as well on this, when you hit save a copy, it instantly starts the, the rendering process. Whereas in the Intel processor, it saves it first. So you have to give it a name and save it. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm going to attempt to do is hit these buttons at the exact same time so that we can have a very scientific test to see which one can render the fastest. I'm just gonna hop over here. It's just gonna be easier to do this this way. So I have to go all the way up to the top corner and hit save a copy and hit save here at the exact same time. Here we go. There it goes. That was like exactly at the same time. Look at them go. Oh, look at the Intel one is just flying. But the AMD is like close behind. It's not bad. There we go. Intel's done. And AMD is still going, still going. And oh, there we go. AMD's done. So. The Intel one, uh, wow, that was actually, that, that taught us quite a bit. Um, the, the AMD processor actually took a couple extra minutes and the slider bar didn't load all the way to the end. Um, that might just be a glitch with the program and the Windows uh, free software. Um, if you're using Premiere Pro or something like that, the load bar often reflects um, what actually is exporting and the export time. This one, the Intel processor actually followed it pretty precisely and then loaded immediately when, um, when it finished. So yeah, I'm super happy with both of these uh, exports. Again, we didn't wait that much time, but you can definitely see a difference in speeds. Another thing to note, um, when I first booted these laptops up, <laughs> the AMD computer here is quite loud. Um, you might not be able to hear it. I'll be super quiet and I'll bring my mic nice and close to it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of tough to hear, but take my word for it. This fan and the AMD processor is quite loud compared to the Intel. There's almost no noise coming from the Intel. And this is also during rendering a video file. So, you know, if, it, if the fan were to kick in, it should have kicked in. So let's jump in to test number two, the boot time. And no, not like boots of you, like booting the, you get it, okay. Okay, so right now, both these computers are off. Um, I've just shut them off. I've given them, given them like 10 Mississippis or so to cool down. 
Uh, now we're going to attempt to hit both these power buttons at the exact same time and see how long it takes to get us to that login screen. And we'll put, of course, a clock on the screen and you can watch that in real time. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh man, that was like right at the exact same time. Let's see what happens. Okay, so already AMD is a little bit behind. Whoa, that's super fast. So boot time also has to do with what hard drive you're running. If you had an HDD hard drive instead of an SSD, obviously that boot time would be a little bit different. Um, I'll do one more test, I'll shut them down again and then I'll reboot them um, just to see that timing if, if anything changes. Um, but yeah, AMD was like a half a second behind if that really matters and Intel was pretty quick. So let's try this test again. We'll do it one more time just for science sake. So I have them both ready, queued up to restart at the exact same time. Let's see what happens. Here we go, one, two, three. Okay, we're restarting. Let's see how long it takes. And then AMD is the red, Intel is the blue. Intel's already ahead. All right, we're shut down. Let's see if we restart. There's a uh, the uh, Intel, and then there's the AMD just right behind it. And I press these buttons at the exact same time. There's no doubt. And we're back. Look at that. So again, Intel, just a couple, maybe half seconds ahead of the AMD processor. Really, you can't go wrong with either one. Again, Skycomp prefers an Intel just because that's always what we've sold. There's more support for Intel, so we're a bigger fan of that. And, you know, we are a half second faster, so that's important to us and our clients. So let's do the final test. We're going to play a 4K video file and see how it holds up. I have two 4K video clips um, queued up here. We're going to hit spacebar at the exact same time, play them, see if we see any lag, see if we see any difference. Let's get going. Ready? One, two, three. So again, I have Intel here and I have AMD here. So we're just watching for any sort of lag, any inconsistencies in those files. Right now it's looking pretty similar. I'd say, you know, maybe, you know, they're almost, they're almost the exact same. Just gonna wait till the, the camera cuts or the image flips because that's usually a good indicator uh, if we see any sort of stuttering when the colors and uh, image completely changes on the screen. So let's wait for that ha to happen. There it is. You might have seen a little bit of lag, a little bit of difference there, but for the most part, we're looking exactly the same and they look pretty, pretty good. You can also see the difference of color in the screen. If you're looking between these two laptops and you're trying to figure out which one to buy because of screen type and colors on the screen, you can really actually tell um, the differences of color. Uh, and they're slight, but you know, if it matters to you, it's important to look at. Yeah, so maybe a, a half a couple of seconds behind. And again, this uh, AMD processor computer here has just been a constant fan noise. So if you're and again, it's not that loud. It's not very disruptive. Um, if you're on a film set or somewhere where you can't have any noise, maybe this wouldn't be the way to go for you. Um, oh, there's a, there's a little bit of lag between the two. So it's pretty clear after those three tests that the Intel Core i5 uh, Lenovo computer is a little bit faster. I mean, it's a half second. It really, oh, what happened there? Did we just crash it? I think we just crashed it. We just crashed uh, the video file. So <laughs> that might say it there. Um, of course, there's tons of other external factors and different things, and this is very opinion-based. Um, so if you're looking for more scientific or more accurate results for these kind of tests, you can head on over 
to psref at you can have our we have more information over at skycomp.ca slash learn about both laptops we list both specs and how we did the testing a little bit in more detail so if you're curious of how we actually set this up or you're curious about other laptops you can head over to skycomp.ca slash learn to learn more if you're looking for a more powerful system that can really knock any processing or heavy processing application or item out of the park, you can check out our other video on our YouTube channel or at skycom.ca slash learn. We have that video right here where Surge and April talk about the X1 series of laptops and the Carbon series, which those laptops from Lenovo are super machines and they might be what you're looking for. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.